I had a lot of tangle. I found myself pulling um, the locks apart so much uh, because locks are going to marry, okay? But man, whoo, this is a divorce we are not having. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is part two. Let me tell you all what it's going to be about. Me never, ever, ever waiting as long as I did to do a retie. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello, Bright Beauty. This quick video captures what my channel offers. Sister Locks, Beauty, Bargains, and more. If it's something that catches your attention, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching. Okay, so hello Bright Beauties. Welcome back. So I just did a video. Gave you a lock update or a hair update, I should say. So after I did that, so I washed my hair. I just washed my hair and I just washed the crown area. And if you go back, you will see what I mean in regards to the lock update on my hair, dealing with uh, dandruff and things of that nature, okay? Well, just dandruff and the products that I've changed, all right? So now in this video, we're talking about I washed my hair, I just did the crown, and I want to talk about how come I will never wait that long again. Now, for my reties, six weeks, okay? Five to early six, I'm okay. Seven. I'm right there, like that's it, and eight, I'm pushing it. Like that is just too long for me. But in the other video, I talked about how I did the outer perimeters of my in hair. Video, I couldn't remember how long it had been since I had did that part, and I was thinking somewhere between nine and 10 weeks. I could be off, but I'm thinking it was somewhere in there. So let me tell you all, so I won't do it again. Let me tell you why, because of the marrying of the lock. I had a lot of tangle. I found myself pulling um, the locks apart so much. I still need to retie just this part. Everything else is done. But my hair is a little tender. So, yeah. So, I found myself separating the locks quite a bit. Now, when you do a retie, you are separating your locks anyway. Regardless. Because, they're, uh, because locks are going to marry. Okay? But, man. Woo! Man. They had married and they did not plan on separating. They said, uh-uh, this is a divorce we are not having. <laughs> they was not ready to divorce. And see, I lost track that quick. The marrying. So when you are doing a retie, you do have to still separate that lock regardless of what because it's going to marry. I noticed this time it, it had married quite a bit where it kind of fused together just a bit. So I noticed that. I had to use scissors. Now that can be dangerous because you can cut a lock. So that's a come I won't do that again. I'll keep it at my seven weeks. You know, well, between six and seven weeks. Yeah. So I found myself cutting, or excuse me, when I was trying to separate them with my hands like I normally do, it wasn't happening. I had to cut it because if I was pulling too hard, it was tearing the hair at the roots. And I just did not want to do that and damage my lock. But I just wanted to talk about that, saying I will never do that again. I don't know what got into me. I just figured, let me just do the perimeters and I'll worry about the other later. And then I guess I was going to do it quicker, but then I just didn't get to it. And, um because it looked fine <laughs> but I just want to come on camera and talk about that that's why it's just not good to wait too long to do a retie I know there's people out there to get them done sooner and some wait for a long time now I noticed that I did have to do a lot more rotations as opposed to sometimes I'll have one or two rotations I had to do three almost four on some of them so of course that took me a little longer and I won't do that again so here I just wanted to include a video of me washing my hair in the kitchen sink just because, yeah, I wanted to show you all. And then just so you all could see how dirty it was, and I'm sure it's just from that product that I was putting in my hair. To me, it was dirtier than it usually has been. Okay, you all, so I'm not using my 
vlogging camera using my phone so the quality is different but this is after a fresh wash i just did the top area and that's it so you have wet and dry here here dry wet man your hair when you fresh when you first wash it so heavy after it's clean it's so light but um yeah so i just did the top just my crown just washing the crown of my hair to deal with the any itching that's there. So I just want to share that. They only wash the crown of my hair. But I just want to come on camera, you all, and just talk about that. Hopefully your day is well. I just want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. This lock world, this lock journey is so great. I love it. I would not trade it for the world. I honestly wouldn't. And I just wouldn't. Like, I love my locks. Like, I love to see my people lock. Like, it just, it just does something to my soul. I mean, oh my goodness. And it, look at my hair, how thin it is. And I talked about that in the other video, how my hair is wet. It's still wet. Look at that. There's nothing up here. It's just so thin, y'all. It just, the uh, density is so low, it just falls down. It's just thin. I can never swoop it on a certain side and get that big puff. I'll have to take like a bobby pin or something and do that. But I love this low density Thin, fine hair. I am okay with it. And once again, I love my locks. Hopefully, you are enjoying your locks. And if you are new to the lock world, hang in there and trust the process. If you're new to the lock world, there's going to be so many things out there. Just do what works best for your hair. I remember when I didn't put any products in my hair. I mean, other than some oil. And then since I've been on YouTube, I've been kind of dibbling and dabbling and trying certain things. I'm going to stop doing that because it's just not working for me. So once again, do what works for you. And to anyone that has been locked for a long time, y'all know how it's done. You know what works best for your hair too. And just continue to share your journey. Continue to let your, your hair be your light when you go out. And just, I do because... I just love to hear people saying they're getting ready to get locked or they're thinking about it and they ran into someone or myself saying, man, I think I'm really about to make my choice. So, you all, it's been good. It's been real. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And what's today? Today's Thursday. It's, um, y'all, it's the end of April. What happened? What happened was this girl got to go.